it uh, reveals something about, about the person who is the, the leader of our country. Um, the fact that he had this very long relationship with, um, uh, with someone who, who was of such different political opinion and at times seemed to threaten uh, t to expose the relationship if, if he didn't go her way uh, in certain votes. You might come away thinking that she was a kind of an angry person. She's either angry over broken promises. There, at some point it seemed that they had talked about mutually leaving their spouses and starting a new life, but that never happened. He, he just wasn't going to leave Florence and he wasn't going to give up his political career. This is the very first document we have in the collection. It's a letter written Christmas Eve, 1910. And uh, Harding, uh, it's a wonderful love letter. Most women would love to get a letter like this. My darling, there are no words at my command sufficient to say the full extent of my love for you. A mad, tender, devoted, ardent, eager, passion wild, jealous, reverent, wistful, hungry, happy love. Because it's written on the back of a photograph of him. And you can see that it's very torn. It was obviously folded up and put in a letter. But it's so torn, you wonder if she may have carried it around with her for a while. The letter on February 2nd, 1920, and he says, we have blundered. We will not talk about the blame. I accept my full share of it. We did blunder. I give you the most tribute a man can. There was no cheating. We both understood. We were both married. No lies were told. We felt the sense of family obligation. Happily, there has been no irreparable damage. 